it is officially all bad. Uh, last night, I came down with something, like started feeling under the weather. I slept for about 16 hours last night because, man, my body right now isn't in a good condition. And ah, it's been so long since I actually have gotten sick overseas. The last time was four years ago, maybe five years ago in China. It is not a good feeling. And then I have, I have some things to do also. So uh, this just makes it a little inconvenient. Mm. Uh, but I am thankful that, you know, I have some buddies around, some buddies around who can help me to uh, get anything that I may need. And then I'm also thankful that I was able to put enough to the side so that if there is an emergency, that I'll still be okay. It's... <laughs> I gotta laugh because I gotta laugh because of how my voice sounds right now. What do they call it? A frog? Frog in the throat? This is more than frog in the throat. This is Kermit. This is all kinds of amphibians. Hopefully I'll feel better by tonight. You know, it's actually uh it's the weekend now, so it'd be cool to try to have some fun. And then also I missed uh, Juma, you know. Uh, in my religion, we pray a uh, big prayer every Friday in Islam, and I wasn't able to, I wasn't able to make it to Juma either. And I really wanted to go. Uh, one of the reasons that I really wanted to go is uh, here in this neighborhood in Manila. There's a lot of a lot of Arabs, and I felt like. It would be really cool to have that experience of going to Juma and hearing the, hearing the message in Arabic. But there's always next week. Everybody who's, you know, been rocking with my journey over the years, I appreciate you here. I've been getting more personal with my content, like really, really letting people know my, my perspectives and letting people know how I feel, how I feel about uh, so many different topics and yeah you already know if it's travel or languages so so many different things if that's something that you're into go ahead and you know tap in with my content like subscribe and message me because we're only going up we are only going up and i also enjoy personally uh, being able to see you all grow you know, some of you guys I've known for years and years now, seeing you guys travel here, travel there, learn this language, learn that language. So we're a family, we're locked in. Even though I'm in, in the Philippines and I'm under the weather, I still have that sense that you all are right here with me. So right now I'm at, um, I'm at a hostel here. I say it's about uh, 25 or 30 people. I like it. I like it. Um, like a lot of different, a lot of different foreigners, and living in a living in a Filipino neighborhood. But then the place where I actually am has a lot of foreigners. You get a nice, you get a nice mixture. And then I can also get a lot of information too, like from the other foreigners about how things work here in Manila. I get information from the Filipinos. It's good. It's good. Uh, this is one of the, the first hostels that I've stayed at. I stayed at one in Singapore as well, like a capsule hotel. And I felt like that was really cool. Also, so right now I'm actually uh, holding my phone with my hand. And I think to give uh, better quality content, it might be smart to use that. Uh, I have like a stand where I could just sit my phone on a stand and record from there. You know, the video won't be shaky. And yeah, so I should do that. <coughs> uh, I think sometimes I don't want to walk around with it 
but it will probably it will probably be good. Like even yesterday when I uh, recorded that mukbang, that mukbang in the mall, I was thinking, ah, it would have been so smart to have the stand there because if I had the stand there, then I can go ahead and set the camera up in a way to where you would be able to see uh, me as well as the the food in front of me. Yeah. So I say uh, with consistency, uh, you just continually improve. And that's one of the main keys to anything is being consistent. If you want to be really good at something, be consistent. If you want to be a master, be consistent. If you, um, if you would like, you know, like a, an authentic expression of whatever it is, you have to actually engage, engage it and be consistent. That's why I was willing to risk it all and come here. Got sick, but I don't regret it because I have to be consistent. You know, I have dreams, I have goals. I would like to speak an amazing number of languages. I would like to be very familiar with all of the different uh, countries and what's there, you know, what's going on. I would like to have friends all over the place. So I'm choosing to be consistent. And it's not always easy. But thank God. Oh, Alhamdulillah. Thank God. And I feel like at the end, at the end of everything, you know, people who really put their time into whatever they were trying to build will have so much of a higher level of satisfaction than you know, someone who's just coasting through life. Forget that. Forget being comfortable. You know, a lot of the reasons why people are able to get taken advantage of is because of feeling comfortable and because of apathy. All, when, you, when you're feeling comfortable, you just want things to stay the way that they are and you don't want you know, anything to be disrupted. Oh, it's a cat by me. You don't want anything to be disrupted. But when you have a higher vision, you'll be willing to disrupt things. When you have, uh, when you have desire to really make something happen, you'll be willing to disrupt things. That's that kind of knowledge you can't get in college. Uh, I think I'm actually starting to draw a little bit of a crowd here because <laughs> I'm talking kind of loud and then I have the, I have the frog in my throat. But appreciate you guys for checking up on me though. And we'll see what happens tonight. If I happen to feel a little better, I'll probably try to go have some fun. It'll be really good to go to the mosque in a few hours, so we'll we'll just see. I'm choosing to be consistent, y'all. Making a vlog. Didn't feel like getting out of bed. But every, you know, it's all opportunities. It's all opportunities. Wish me well. If you have any questions, hit me in the DM, uh, the Hodgeable on Instagram. Um, yeah, tap in with me. Tap in with me. It's much love, love, peace, and chicken grease. All right, everybody. Peace.